I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to automate the rotate and crop of a large batch of photos. So you see here I have all these scans of some football cards. You can see um, they're done on a flatbed scanner and so there's a lot of white space in the background behind the cards. I want the cards to be rotated so that they're going the right direction and I want the white background gone so the picture file is just the picture of the front of the football cards. So I'm going to go down and open Photoshop, File, Automate, Batch. I have a preset action called Auto Crop and Rotate. I set that. You choose your source folder. I already have a folder selected with the card pictures and you select your destination folder where you want the, the new picture files to be saved. Once you have all those settings set, you just click OK. I have 129 pictures that Photoshop is going to automatically crop and rotate for me, which saves quite a lot of time of photo editing myself. You'll notice in the Photoshop window how it opens each file automatically, eliminates the white background, and straightens out the picture. This is great for me because I deal with hundreds of sports cards per day. Um, I'm always taking lots of scans and pictures. This would also be good if you just had a large batch of of photographs that you scanned with a fat with a flatbed scanner that you needed to automatically crop and rotate without let Photoshop do the work all by itself. While that's working, I'm going to go and check on the, the new picture files that it's saving. So as you can see, the new picture files perfectly cropped and rotated. I used to do this by hand using iPhoto or another photo editing software and I would spend hours and hours per week cropping thousands of, of picture files for sports cards that I sell on eBay. Now Photoshop does this automatically for me and saves me many hours per week and per month.
It took Photoshop just over 25 minutes to auto crop and rotate 129 picture files, but I have an older Mac and an older Photoshop, so newer versions would probably work much faster.